Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. This is a surprise emergency video I'm making today. Uh, uh, my neighbor got some bad news yesterday that they might have a broken water line. And he told me about it because it runs underneath my garden. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So fortunately, we've had like 24 hours of rain and everything is just drenched. We're getting flood warnings today. We've had so much rain. So, but there is some kind of water line break and it comes somewhere through here. When it's quiet, I guess you can hear, you can hear it running. So I know that at least this plant has to be moved. So I'm gonna, but I don't know. I can only, I don't wanna get moved more than I have to. I'm hoping that's it because this is also the problem now where I've had with those, with the um, lavenders dying. So now I'm wondering, you know, but so I'm going to move this guy at least over to this side here because I've got, uh, that's a black eyed Susan there that's, that had a bad start the, earlier in the year, but I can plant that here. If I need to, I can pull that extra lavender over here and come on this side here too. So, but you know, as it's as unfortunate as it is for my neighbor, um, it's good timing for my garden because if I have to do anything, at least we just had 24 hours worth of rain. And you know, this is August now, which is typically no rain at all. Oh, look, my kitty's coming. Look here, here comes Jack. Come here, baby. Come here, Jack. Come here, kid kitty. Come here, look at her running to me. Hi, sweetie pie, come here. Come here. Ah, oh, it's good to see you. Good to see you, baby. Yeah, and then Jackie says good morning, too. But here, I'll do, uh, maybe I should do this. Because it might not look like this later today, so let's do a walkthrough. <laughs> oh, that's almost sad. Ah, so yeah, We're, let's do a garden tour six in the morning. That's my dying hydrangea, but I'm going to just do whatever it's going to do. Um, my Autumn Joy sedums are still doing well. These are the daylilies. I see no blooms on them, just the green stalks. Back here are a couple of Mexican petunias. They were eaten down by the squirrels. They're growing back, but not in a way that it looks like it's going to be productive. You guys are very familiar with my hostas doing well. Oh, and yeah, that other dead lavender plant is right here. So I don't ever have to point that out again. So, <laughs> ah, but so yeah, there's our problem area. There's our one that's getting moved. The black eyed Susans are coming in beautifully though. Look at how the color is just coming together. You know, it, and plus it's because it's so dark out still, the lighting is really letting the colors to shine. It's not bleached out by the sun. You know, and these guys, these purple hearts, I don't mention them a lot, but my goodness, look how huge they've gotten. I'm thinking about um, dividing them because I have a spot over here that would be really nice. But anyway, everything's just really coming together and looking nice, you know, and also see a perfect timing to plant those irises in there. Oh, it just looks so pretty, you guys. But uh, yeah, as I close out this scene right now, this is the purple heart I thought about. There's this open spot right here. And look at the two size, the size of those two over there. That'd fill this out nicely. So, but um, I don't know, it's just something I'm kicking around. Anyway, we'll catch up with you later when I have the shovel, guys. Yeah, that's going to stay out today. I might be back out here digging out more plants. Okay, so there it is. And now becoming friends with this side of the garden. Um, I kind of like it there, and I wouldn't be disappointed if it ends up staying there. Uh, when it's not raining out, I'm going to come out and deadhead these. It's sprinkling right now. But so, I mean, that actually makes it look kind of complete on that side there. So we'll see what happens. This side here, well... 
I don't want to move the hostas or those lavenders unless I have to.